Hey everybody, it's Valerie from ValerieWallaceFineArts.com. I'm here in Orono, Maine in my basement studio and, oh, whoops, I'm a little, be, a little bit behind today. Um, and today we're going to do a drawing of some daisies and because it's time for daisies to come out, they're, all, they're on my walk. Um, and it's Thursday, June 11th, I think. Okay, 2020. All right, so the thing with the daisies is this. We're going to use the white paper to be the white petals. So you have to save that white at the beginning. All right, and the, there is a little bit of color that happens here. So you could take a light purple. Um, I have a gray here. <clears throat> uh, you could use light yellow. You could use a pencil. You could use... What else, Steph? Light blue. Yeah, light blue. To draw out the petals when we do that because, um, you know, you just, whatever. I don't know. I'm not even getting straight. <laughs> the thing that I want to do, though, is <clears throat> because I'm going to have to do all the coloring all around the outside of the flowers, I want big flowers, okay? I don't want little teeny ones like this or I'm going to be coloring forever. If you happen to just work smaller, and one of the things you can do if you make things smaller is um, take a piece of paper and hold it over there and trace it and just make a smaller piece um, drawing within your big piece of paper. Kind of crop it and add it, something like that. Um, the other thing is just add more flowers. Keep adding more daisies until you fill up enough so you don't have to color for days. It's kind of like when you're doing a sky with clouds. Okay, so I'm going to start with, actually I'm going to start with a yellow. Um, hopefully you can see this. Okay, um, I'm going to start with the centers and then I'm going to add the other parts. I'm not worried about it getting exactly like this picture, okay? Um, a daisy um, has a pretty good size center. And we have one pretty close to the top, so let's make a spot up here. Um, and this is the thing about it is that it's sitting a little differently. So these petals are shorter than those petals. This kind of tip forward. And so the bottom of it is flat. So right here, make kind of a flat line like this, and then hump it around like that, okay? You can brown this a little bit if you want to, okay? That's gonna be daisy number one up there, okay? I'm just gonna think about the centers. So if I'm using this paper as my proportion, this is probably middle. So if I find the middle of my paper, this center is just a little bit over this way, and it goes the other side a little bit. So I'm gonna make a line like that, and curve that a little bit like this, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put one down here, which is, you know, if this again, this is middle. This is just a little bit over to the side. And I'm going to, to do it like this. Like I said, if you, if you work a little bit smaller, just add a couple more in there. Think odd numbers, okay? Odd numbers make things seem a little more random and more natural, okay? Um, I'm going to do one with a Sharpie today down here, I think. That's my plan. All right, so I have the one that's up here. I have to think a little bit smaller here. It's gonna be that. This is my middle. I'm gonna go over this way a little bit, do one on this side. And then I'm gonna do one over this way a little bit. If they overlap, that's gonna make them look better. Every, nobody wants to overlap when they first start drawing stuff. They're like, oh no, 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 I worked perfect, I worked so hard on this, I can't possibly put something on top of it. But the more you do it, the more natural things will be, and you'd be surprised a simple way to make your picture look more sophisticated, okay? All right, so this is the point where you pick something light to draw with, okay? Um, I think I will stick with the gray. That's what I used last night, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I have a gray little pastel here. Um, what I want, kind of wanted you to notice is if, say you don't look at the, the center, okay? This petal right here sits by itself, but the rest of them here, there's no white space. I mean, there's no blue coming down between because they, and, and this isn't, you know, this is not what a real daisy looks like, but they really overlap around the center. So one of the things you can do is just kind of, um, this is an idea, is to just sort of do the outside 
bump of it because when you do the blue you can cut back into that white and give it even more shape okay maybe I'll do this guy first I'm, I'm, I'll do one similar to this okay so first thing I'm gonna do is make a big loop out like that and the length of this petal is bigger than the center so I've got a pretty good size center I want to make sure that I'm making that bigger than that can that does that show that gray yep okay I'm doing it pretty dark, but I don't want you to, I want you to do as lightly as you can. I'm going to do one over here. All right. It looks like a bug flying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then these, I don't want to go all the way to the, the center. I want to keep them out. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a bump and a bump and a bump and another bump like that. Okay. Now this one sort of sits alone. And then these are a little shorter because they are coming towards us. It's called foreshortening. If you don't like doing it like that, you want to make them all even, make them all even. Make whatever, whatever you want to do. I mean, the old, a daisy is a white flower with a yellow center. Okay? You got one. No one's going to say, what, what is that thing? They're just all going to be like, oh, it's a daisy. You might think it's, uh, what, sunny side up eggs maybe? And that's what I felt like mine was. <laughs> All right, so this is a this one's a little little more complicated, but um, I know I have a couple of shorter ones here, so I'm going to make a couple of bumps out here. Bump. I'm just going to work a little bit more from the outside. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. Maybe this one I'll bring in a little bit more. Okay, and then this is going to go kind of underneath that. All right, and if they're perfectly smooth all the way around that's great if you make it exactly the same all the way around that's great but if you don't it doesn't matter either okay it all doesn't matter it's just a drawing right mm -hmm. let's take the pressure off okay maybe short one here I want to bring these over I want there to be some sort of connection okay um, I want to. I don't think that I want to do it either. So I bet some of you are still drawing your petals, so that's okay. I will do this to keep my, my good to myself busy. Um, so I, I'm lucky enough to live near a big field up on the up in, on campus at the university. That, well, I have a big field in my house. So, <laughs> I was going to say that. But um, where I walk my dog, and that I could actually pick the flowers that are there. And now it's time for daisies. And I always want to pick some daisies because there's just thousands. But it's at the beginning of my walk, and I would have to hold them the whole time in my sweaty hand. So I always, I don't do it. And you just need to rearrange your walk. Oh yeah, I need to rearrange those. Mm -hmm. I do remember, my mother's birthday is on June 18th. So there's almost always daisies around. I remember a few times putting daisies on her cake. Which looks really good. As long as there's no bugs in them. Mm. Unless it's a ladybug. Although I guess she doesn't really like All right, I'm feeling good about it. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to put in some of the green stems, okay? Because you're not gonna draw those on top of the blue, okay? Um, and before we color the green in, we have to do what, Daphne? I don't know. Oh, a ladybug? Yeah, we want to draw that ladybug on there because we don't want to try to draw that on top later. Okay, but we have to give it a place to sit. I guess we don't have to. You could probably draw the green afterwards, but I am going to take 
Oh, that's just, this is too late. Where's the other one? Is it underneath the other one? This one? Well, that's not exactly what I want, but that's okay. I'm looking for the other one that's kind of in between. Mm. So the thing is, is that down low here, most of the bottom of it is covered in greens, okay? Um, and we want to fill that in, or you're going to be trying to squeeze blue in between everything, okay? You want to go pretty light with your green because they're going to go pretty dark with your blue. And if not, you're not going to hardly see any difference. So you're going to stay on the light side. Like, uh, you know, this green right here is a little dark. You know, you could put a little of that in there, but you see how you don't see those as much, okay? Um, I guess you might want to think a little bit about a stem. So say I wanted a stem on this guy, I might put a stem here. And maybe I'll bring that down like this. Oops, does that look like that matches up? Close enough, okay? And then maybe in one here, and maybe one here, okay? And then I'm thinking I want to save a little, um, nice little blade of grass for my ladybug, okay? So maybe I'll bring a line from over here, I'll start out here, and make a nice wide little spot, okay? Um, like I said, this stuff is all going to get, you could draw some pieces that come up, okay? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter if they're all connected or anything, okay? But we just want lines that are going up and filling up some of the spaces. And then also there's a few long pieces that go up at the top. So say over here I make some, we're gonna color these in with different shades of green, but, okay? And then over here I'm gonna add a few um, if you want it to be kind of a pointy blade of grass, draw one line and then start at the tip and bring that back. And that'll help to make them pointy rather than kind of rounded at the end. Okay? did this first at a bachelorette party in like a green bush. Green bush. Green bush main. Like years ago. It was very fun. But if, as a painting. Okay. Oh, I gotta have some of this coffee. Whoops, I'm slurping. I'm an Aquarius. Let's draw some down here. All right, so I was thinking stem. This is gonna be a little different situation. Um, maybe a stem for, actually I'm gonna do the blade of grass for my, okay. Um, so my um, assistant, my lovely daughter, Ginger Ninja, Daphne Murphy, has to go do an internship. Mm. She's going to leave me. So sad. Yeah, we're very sad. Friday night will be her last one for, I mean, unless she's visiting or, you know, whatever. Unless she gets kicked out of her internship. I am rude. <laughs> I'll sabotage you. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that you got kicked out. I don't know what it's from. Somebody complained about you? Oh, well, maybe that could be. <laughs> um, anyway. So, if somebody wants to be my uh, my uh, replacement assistant, let me know. I could never replace you. Because I know it's not going to be Callie. No. And no one else is here. Um, it's going to be Marlo. My little Marlo. Marlo. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? I'm, I think I might know. I think I might know that it's not in her capability. Um, should we get my mother to do it? <laughs> Listen, she can do anything. She puts her mind to. Mm -hmm. Okay, did I do it? So far? I think. Okay. All right, let's, so let's do our um, ladybug. So I think you want a red, unless you want a different color bug. The great thing, of, oh, this isn't the right red. Oops, here's a little one. I'll take that. Um, 
the great thing about the ladybug is that it's red and the grass is green and red and green are complementary colors which means they're opposites which means if you mix a little bit of red in your green it makes it a little dull and likewise if you go the other way if you mix them just exactly right you'll get brown and if you add white you'll get gray okay they're opposites but they make each other really zing so that's why we have instead of a yellow bug we have a red bug okay so you want an oval and i mean you know you don't want it the size of a quarter i don't think here i mean it's probably a little smaller than your center but it doesn't have to be tiny remember this is not reality so make it big enough so you can draw your spots on okay so i'm going to make a little circle oval and i want to chop off a little tiny bit at the top of its head um it's going to have a little line down the middle i'm going to color in the two uh wing parts really tiny it looks super cute but I can't do that so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one because that's not gonna work okay so on this one I'm gonna color in this and I'm gonna put little spots on it we get um, some kind of infestation of I don't know does lots of them look good or is that too weird a bunch of bugs Oh, lots of dots. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try the other way on the top. Um, I need a black. Mm. Yeah, we'll find a black. Mm -hmm. um, we get, in, like, I think it's in the fall or late August or something, there's an infestation this of. This black. Right. It, just it at me. An infestation of. I don't think they're actual, like, the original ladybug. Why? They're like a knockoff ladybug. Who are they? Um, I don't know why. I just think that's what it is. And they're like all in my bathroom. Like crazy when I was in there. I like them. On the screen door. You know? I feel like they would come on the screen door too. Yeah. 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 All of them. Okay. All right. So let's do our centers. Let's color. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of orange down here on the bottom, give it a little more, actually maybe I need the lighter yellow, I'll use a little orange down here on the bottom of my centers, and then I want a light yellow, hopefully it's not dirty, um, there we go, so Daphne and I just painted a mural, for Carolina's Sports and Spirits under the Chamberlain Bridge in Bangor, Maine. Out in their backyard, they're gonna have a cool, like, you know, bar party center, party center out in the backyard. Um, so now we're gonna do with the, oh, down here, this is what I need to do. Um, they're, they're not open just yet. They'll be open, I think, next Monday is the plan. Interesting. And they'll be serving, you know, outside for, because that's the way to do it. And, but they're doing all kinds of renovation. They have a very glamorous new bathroom. I'm really impressed. This is huge. Well, I don't know, maybe the mirror was always there. Now, I've been there before, but I don't really remember it. What? I think maybe the mirror was already there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Girls love a big mirror when they're out drinking. Okay, there's that. Okay, so with the green, it, like I said, don't go too dark. Um, oh, here, maybe this will work. Um, but I will use the, light, the green to help. We're going to use the coloring on around the outside is what's going to set off the, um, the petals. So when you draw, you have to draw very carefully, like maybe on your, um, like I have the gray line, I'm going to draw on top of that gray line. I don't want to leave it outlined in gray. The idea is to cover that up. I'll be able to do it in most of the places. Okay. 
Um, and that would be the darker you go around your um, petals, the more they're going to stand out. It's going to happen right now before your eyes. And it would be kind of a neat thing to look at afterwards, kind of like if you look at the video, sort of scroll through it kind of fast and you'll see what happens to the white around the flowers as everything else gets darker in the picture. So it's going to change a lot. Okay. And yeah, so if you want something fun painted in your house or your business, give me a ring a ding ding. Daphne loses her internship. She can come in early. I don't. I feel like that's that's not something we can talk about. <laughs> Bad clown not to talk about. But. No, it's good clown. Not everything's gonna work out great. Always not. And she is going to be working with Angel Rocks. Um, what do you call it? Uh, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah. It's um, she's a clothing designer. Daphne's going to get her degree in fashion design, and um, she's going to go down there. And she, they also have a store called Sugar, right? That's and it's in Biddeford. And then in Portland. Biddeford. Oh yeah, in Portland too. Portland and Biddeford. Where all the action is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful bamboo clothing. Check it out. Very soft. They're really nice. If you haven't got on the bandwagon of the bamboo clothes, you should do it because it's really great. Okay, um, let's get this on here. So to, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, I didn't print it out, I think I've already got a copy, but we're going to do um, a cute little cottage. I know some people have done it with me at Governor's, I think maybe last year, if not two years ago. So, but if you draw, if you painted it, that's fun to do a drawing of it and come out a little bit differently. Um, That'll be at 8 o'clock. So, if you've got the little ones, hopefully you got them put, tuck in, tucked in. We don't want to, if it's nice out, we don't want to come in until it's um, later, right? Mm -hmm. Stay outside as long as we can. I think it's going to be nice tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. I want yes, another sheet of green. green. I keep just grabbing the same ones. That's blue. coloring once you get this on, on the hand. Daisies are really pretty sweet. Too simple. They're so, um, remind me of being a kid. It's probably one of the first flowers I, I recognized, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the first flower is that you knew? Probably dandelion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can remember seeing you in the park and you have a little pink sunsuit on and you're picking dandelions and you're like just before you had your operation you're like 18 months old I remember being very upset when you and dad would mow the dandelions I know like sitting in my room looking out the window um, and you were so sad I'm not going to do this grass right now I think I'll do some, I'll just do this guy and we'll see how that comes out okay Okay, so again, now what you're going to do with your with your darker blue is you're going to go around everything very carefully, 
Well, and if you need to shape it a little bit different, like you got one random piece sticking out there too far, you can make them smaller. You can't make them bigger too easily, but okay. Um, my favorite flower is what, Jackie? Black eyed Susan. Black eyed Susan. This, this is my favorite. I mean, I really like a sunflower too. That's like, you know, I black eyed lilac. Susan and amping it up. But what? Lilac. I love the smell of lilacs. It just mm. makes me weep. They're so delicious. Mm. And you know, it's so fleeting. You know, it's just such a short amount of time when you can smell a lilac. see what happens because you just have to create the contrast you have to the white doesn't mean anything until it's the only white thing you've got and then it really is going to seem so fresh and bright didn't grow great this year. There's something wrong with a lot of the trees. We've got some, but not all of them. I don't know what the deal is. But we do have a field full of lupins right now, that's for sure. Experience. And they're not even all out yet. Ouch. But you can't pick, that's the thing about wildflowers, is they really only last like a day if you pick them. You might as well leave them and look at them outside because they're not going to last very long. But they are, they're lupins, they're all over the table. <laughs> the uh, rain. All the little pieces. Is this working? So every time I do these little negative spaces in here, too, that just makes things a little, things a little bit more interesting. Normally, when we do a blue for a sky, we don't ever get this dark because this is really kind of the blue that the sky is just before it gets dark. But in this case, it works great. Although you could use any shade. It'll all work great. Okay, I'm going to try and use all the little pieces. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> Not a very sunny day here. This one, I thought it was a nice June day. The day then the days are just like all this <laughs> was it cold? Yeah, no, it was cold. It was cold last night. That's the way it is around here anyway. I can talk about this. We've had pretty nice weather though. We had one stretch of a really, really nice week. Well, we had a lot. Almost, yeah. Like, um, concerns about fires because we've had it so dry for so long. Yeah. So we couldn't get a fire permit. On the new one. But then we got a fire permit on uh, last, what was it? Thursday? Friday? Uh, Saturday? It was Saturday up some stuff. A lot of fires. All right. There's that. I don't know if it, I don't think ladybugs really have antennas, right? No, I don't think so. Okay, so please tell me I have a big black marker somewhere. I'll use this instead. Where's that black? Um, okay, there it is. Okay. All right. So down here, since I don't have my super fat sharp marker, I won't do all of it, but I'll do around in the sky. So 
it's the same thing. It's still really a neat thing. I mean, I love painting and I love colors, but black and white drawing has a lot of um, what? Your interest? Your sophisticated? Well, there's something really, it has a lot of impact with something very simple. If you would like to send a little donation my way, you can click on the link that's right below the video. Um, and I'm also on Venmo at Dollar Walls 9. And um, I will do classes next week. My plan is again Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 and Friday at 8 at night. And something I do some some kids playing is one of my maybe kids on a beach and then I'm going to I think do some sort of coastal fishing shack or something like that I have kind of I have a picture I'm gonna look and see if I have something better for all the people down on the coast down east and in Bahaba. And what did, what did Tim say the other night? Pachias. Pachias. There we go. Man, that's cool, huh? There's that. Yeah, okay. Um, if you have anything you'd like to draw, also check out the playlist on YouTube. There's 71, 72 drawing classes on there and it would be great if you would share that with somebody you know. Help me out. Reach people. Um, okay. There we go. So it's kind of like that. Um, I could for these, I could, you know, I could draw lighter on my grass with this. If I have a pen, I'd have to do some cross hatching, but for right now, do that. I think there's a bug on here anyway. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, and I will see you on Friday night for some more drawing classes. Thank you for joining me. Len. Hi Sue. Hi Liana. Kelly, I can't wait to see your picture. Hi Amy. Hey Kim. Thanks for joining. There's there's my colored one. There's some black and white one. Alright, thank you. See you guys tomorrow night. Have a great day. Clean your closets or something since you don't want to go outside. It's probably buggy.